does heavy rainfall and flooding in any way linked? Is it in any way linked to climate change? We know that as the Earth's climate warms are due to, uh, to human activities, these are could be like uh, burning fossil fuels, uh, deforestation. It leads to several changes in the atmosphere and hydrological cycle. This contributes to, sub, uh, to heavy rainfall and subsequent flooding. Hello and welcome. My name is Dr. Jedida, PhD, climate change and adaptation, and registered agricultural engineer. Today we'll be looking at the summer. We'll be looking at the explanations, some explanations as to how climate change is linked to heavy rainfall and subsequent flooding. The first explanation is increased evaporation. We know evaporation is one component of hydrological cycle, and it occurs when there is a lot of heat energy. And when climate change happens, there is a rise in temperature. So this brings in more heat energy for evaporation to occur. And this evaporation is occurring maybe in the oceans, in the lakes, in the rivers. So there is increased evaporation, which is a potential, when there is more water in the atmosphere, there is potential of having intense rainfall. The second one is at atmospheric moisture content. With increased temperatures because of uh, climate change, the, the air will be dry. So it has more potential to, uh, to carry more moisture. So as evaporation increases, more moisture content, there is more moisture content in the atmosphere, or the moisture content increases in the atmosphere because the air is dry. So it has more potential to absorb more water from the evaporation. So that also brings, it eventually brings intense rainfall. The third one is intensified weather systems. Climate change can intensify weather systems such as cyclones and atmospheric rivers. We know that warm, warm, warm air from the oceans can, can, has more energy and can cause these tropical storms. So warm ocean waters have more energy and they can fuel tropical storms. So intensified weather systems can also be, because of climate change, can also bring more rainfall. The fourth one is melting glacier ice or um, uh, ice caps. We mentioned that one of the effects of global warming is melting ice. And this one, when it melts, it increases the volume of rivers or, or, or lakes or wherever that water is going. So it means that it can increase the flooding, the flooding of rivers. And subsequently, when the temperature continues rising, subsequently we see also changes in the Evaporation, evaporation will rise, as we saw in the, our first point. So that is crucial when, when we talk about melting ice or glaciers and ice caps. The fifth one is the changes in precipitation patterns. Most of the regions in the world are also are experiencing changes in precipitation patterns. This means that the traditional way, the traditional timelines we, as we know them, they are no longer applicable. And you find that sometimes some regions are experiencing prolonged drought, and then very intense rainfall. That is rainfall falling at a very short time. The intensity is very high. So this, uh, this one causes flooding. And it usually it's a cycle. We cause flooding, more water, and more destruction. And then when it, the, 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 the drought comes, the heat is, it is a lot. And what happens is the evaporation also increases. The last point that causes uh, flooding is uh, urbanization and land use. As the world is growing, the population is also increasing. We find that more, more, more areas or more, uh, more land is needed for urbanization to bring up industries, homesteads, and all that. And most of these areas, they are, they are paved. So there's nowhere the water usually is. When it rains, there's no infiltration or, perc or percolation for that matter. So all the water is a, moves off, moves off the service as a uh, runoff, or just as, so th there's a risk of flooding because this water is not going anywhere but just flowing downstream to the to join the rivers and all that so there is the more likelihood of uh, flooding because of the 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 land use which is maybe urbanization or for for another form of land use that the it is not allowing the water to be to be to, to infiltrate to the soils so that's all i had for you today and uh, in case you have any suggestion of a topic that we need to cover kindly do so in the in the comment section and please remember to subscribe and share this video so that we can grow as a channel and thank you and let's meet in the next video